We're here with Eugene Mission at the New York Pro. He came off the heels of a very controversial third place in Orlando, the Europa Show. Eugene, can you share your thoughts on the show? Your conditioning was second to none, very full. Myself and also Kevin Lavroni had you potentially winning that contest. What are your thoughts on that? Kevin told like that. Yes, he did. Wow. What are your thoughts <laughs> on the contest? Big compliment. <laughs> uh, actually, I came there, I was ready. Because I even didn't, I, didn't, I, was, I was nervous. I was uh, doing my homework, and, uh, excellent. And I see a lot of guys there, like on the backstage, was nervous. They were like top guys. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. How was it at the show? How did the crowd receive you? I would like. Yeah. yeah, I was. I think it's the best condition I've had, you know, size-wise. And what's it like after a contest to see, you know, a lot of people supporting you and saying, "Look at this guy. He's been working hard. He's really a great." Of guys, people got disappointed by placing me third. Because they want to place I did. And when is your next show? I was hoping you'd do this show. It's easy for me to say. I don't have to diet. But uh, when's your next contest? Olympia. Okay. And what uh, what are you looking to bring there to improve? Your back's vastly improved. What are you looking to bring up there? Size. More size? Size and same condition that they usually do. And you still have some holes, I can say. Like I need to change my body composition. And mm -hmm. I still want to keep weight smaller. But I see a lot of guys uh, getting stunned. It's hard to do, putting on size, you know, sometimes it's a little compromised. But uh, your popularity, you're a very quiet guy, but suddenly now you're, you know, being pushed to the forefront. People, uh, a guy like Kevin LaRocchi, so that's, that's not chopped liver. Even, that's even I was after prejudging, I walk in to my room and I heard in the back, Eugene, how you doing? I like turn around, I see Dexter Jackson. Wow. So, like, congratulations, you got it. <laughs> really? You never spoke to me, you just, I see him in the competition, but now I start to speak with him more and like, oh, guy, yeah, you look good, you should get it. Then finals, I look different. And what did you weigh at this contest? I was 290. So the Olympia looking to go up to what, 295? It should be. And do you have a guru? Do you work with? Do you have like a, who's your extra set of eyes when you're getting ready for a bodybuilding challenge? You've you met him a couple of times here in New York, 2009, 2010. Alexander Vishnevsky, I remember Russian guy. He actually face, looks similar in face like me. Like fair, wise. And is there any way the fans can contact you? Facebook or a website? Oh, you can go to Facebook, Eugene Mission, like Facebook, Eugene Mission, just so I, I open their fan page. Well, just last night, because I have too many uh, people, it's like limit 5,000 people, and I can move it to Facebook, one page. And also, you can go to Muscle Development or X Muscle, I can give you an idea for sizes. And how does it feel after working so hard for a show and seeing that kind of groundswell support where, you know, you've been working hard, kind of in the shadows, and now, how does that feel for you as going into the Olympia? How does that motivate you? and whatnot, and they're great people, and she's a very accomplished athlete herself. Give us a little background on your uh, athleticism and your gymnastics. Oh, I did everything. Um, I've been a gymnast since I was 11, and then I started competing in bodybuilding, fitness, and figure in 2004. I did in every national show, in every division, and place in the top five. Uh, last year, I was national champion in my height class for the Junior USA's and the North Americans, and this year, I'm getting ready for the Junior Nationals. 
question to my high class. And how does it work having two athletes in the house and dieting? Uh, how does that work? You know, uh, the upside is, is I understand what he goes through. So I know when to step back and I know when to just get in the space. And uh, the only downside is when he diets and he gets ready for a show, my stomach is in such knots. I can't focus on myself. Like I should have started my diet 16 weeks ago, but I really started it like right after he did the Atlanta because I was just <laughs> I was just a nervous wreck. I couldn't focus because I was just focusing on him, making sure he had all his, all his needs covered. What were your thoughts on that show? A controversy? Uh, you know, Eugene being a humble guy? What were you were there. Eugene is very humble, but he was a giant, and you know, like the crowd's reaction pretty much says it all. He just, when he stepped on stage, people were like, oh my god. You know, he was just enormous. He was dry, he was shredded. His conditioning was like so on. He had nothing to say. Obviously, he gets really shredded. More than most guys. Yeah, right, 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 right. Is it just because he's super dedicated? He's he doesn't super cheat. He doesn't. He won't be so good. No, also, yeah. if you work in the case, I'm taking my motivation when I, when I see my challenges. He gets more dress. He gets more dress. He gets more dress. All right. Well, I just want to say a few parting words here. These two guys here are the nicest people in the industry. I've talked to them, trained with Eugene, and I enjoy them. Warm welcome for me, like friends, and uh, I wish you well. And uh, hopefully, uh, the Olympia, you're going to be in the uh, top mix. This is Ali Blair, and you're watching Muscle Sport TV.